G'day, I'm Mark Valencia and welcome to Self-Sufficient Me. In this video we're going to talk about worming and parasite control of, well, my poultry. But if you want you can apply it to yours as well. Over the years I've trialled and aired uh, many types of parasite control, you know, primarily worming. I've used natural methods like garlic, uh, I've used um, powders, I've used um, orally uh, methods through their drinking stations and through food mash. Um, all those type of systems work alright, but what I've eventually settled down with is a chemical that is placed on the back of the neck of the chicken, um, basically down the back of the neck where the back of the neck meets the back uh, on the skin. And uh, that chemical is called ivermectin. Now the reason why I've gone to that is because for a small sized flock like mine, 20 birds or under, if you don't count my quail, which is about 50, um, it's, uh, it's an easy way for me to control parasites in my flock. And it's about uh, the same price as you'd get from any of the other type of methods. It's not complicated, it's easy to do, and it lasts for three months. All the chickens need is one mil of this application uh, through an eyedropper onto the back of their neck and that's it. For my quail I use half a mil per bird in the same location. What is my philosophy on using chemicals on my birds? Well, I put it, put it this way. Humans use worming tablets and chemicals inside them otherwise we'd become unhealthy, wouldn't we? I use worming tablets and uh, on my dog uh, and my other animals to keep them healthy. I also use a chemical uh, tick application on my dog so that he doesn't get a paralysis tick and uh, die a horrible death. So therefore, when it comes to parasite protection for my animals, and in particular my poultry, I prefer to use this method, after all the treatments that I've tried, this is definitely the best and easiest. Okay, so ivermectin. This is it here. I buy mine in a small 100 mil bottle and uh, obviously this is enough for 100 birds or a hundred applications. So it's pretty, it's pretty cost effective. At $25 a bottle, um, it works out to be about 25 cents a bird. So, you know, that's not bad. The other thing that I need or that I use is um, some gloves. Now, these are just food gloves. Uh, you could use surgical gloves if you want, the latex type. Um, but, you know, these are nice and cheap and they do the job and they're quite strong. You'll need that so you don't, so you don't get any um, chemical on your hands when you're giving it to all your birds. And the only other thing you need is a simple eyedropper. This goes up to one mil. So when I'm doing my chickens, I do them one at a time. Uh, I, I suck up the liquid from the bottle up to the one mil mark catch the bird, give the one mil to the bird, and then uh, go to the next one. All right, so that's the chemical, ivermectin. That's the tools to use. Make sure you've got some gloves. Make sure you've got a eyedropper, and um, pretty well, that's it for the setup stage.
Okay, that's my chickens done. They're all happy now. Uh, they're outside the pen. They're free ranging. They've been given their ivermectin treatment. And so now for another three months, they'll be free from mites, lice, and intestinal worms. I don't have to worry about that now. All I do is I, you know, got my smartphone, I put in the date of their next worming, which will be December, uh, what, September, October, November, December, and um, that'll be it. What I'm on to now is I'm in my quail pen and it's time to worm them. What I for forgot to say before was the withholding period for ivermectin. When you're using this type of chemical on the back uh, of the neck of the animals, it gets into their system and it also gets into their eggs. So you can't eat their eggs for five days. That's the withholding period. That's the same with quail and other poultry. So five days withholding period on eggs. Okay, so what I've got is my quail now. I've caught them all and I've put them in those pet carriers over there. They're only in there temporarily. I'll get one out at a time, just like my chickens. I'll use the syringe, I'll take it to one mil, but I'll only use half a mil per quail. So one syringe full will do two birds. And I'll continue getting them out until I, and, and, and putting the birds that have been given the treatment back into the pen so I know what's what. Okay, that's it. That's my chickens and quails done. Poultry done. Happy mite, lice and worm. If you want to keep your flock healthy, I know a lot of people are against chemical use. That's fine. And that's the choice that you want to make. And if using non-chemicals and the use of natural things like garlic and onions and that type of thing in a chicken's diet is for you, that's fine, go for it. For me, this is the way I do it. I use the ivermectin. I use one mil for chickens, half a mil for quail. I do all my poultry at the same time. I document that and then uh, in, in three months time, I do it all over again. Isolate your birds first, then segregate them after they've been given their treatment and Bob's your auntie. That's it from me. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them after the video or even better, go to selfsufficientculture.com 
that's the sister site to Self Sufficient Me, and we can discuss it on the forum there. Uh, it's as simple as creating your own thread or just following the thread that I'm going to create after this video. So thanks for watching. I hope it was worthwhile. Bye for now. Don't hurt